What's up gang, it's Ryan here from Ruck.Beer and today we are taking a look at the GORUCK M22 Rucksack. This is GORUCK's uh, take on a World War II Rucksack. Uh, it was released in 1945, uh, ironically called the M1945, which is kind of where GORUCK spins their name off of. This is the M22 because it was released in the year 2022. This rucksack was a limited run. I believe there were about a thousand made. Uh, I reached out to GORUCK to see if there were plans to make more runs in the future. Maybe we get an M23. Uh, and I hope so, because I'm going to tell you, this is the ruck that uh, truly surprised me. Uh, when it first came out, wasn't super interested in it, uh, but did get my hands a hold of one. And boy, am I glad I did. Uh, this ruck is a departure from kind of the standard GORUCK uh, lineup. Uh, it does things very differently. GORUCK bags typically, if you look at the GR1, 2, Bullet Ruck, 3, all of it is uh, basically built off the same template. It's a clamshell bag uh, that has minimal pockets and uh, it's all about less is more. This bag is a little bit more is more, but uh, it has done in a very GORUCK way that it looks slick, it's streamlined, and everything is highly functional. So let's, let's take a look at some of the great things about this bag. So first thing you'll notice is that instead of the clamshell opening, we have these straps with buckles. So this bag is actually a top loader. So we can unclip these buckles here, and the top is going to open up, and from here, we have this drawstring top. So you can see that even though that this is a 21 liter bag, if we extend this, I believe that extends uh, the capacity of the bag. It looks like it would probably be even a 25, 26 liter if you completely max it out. So we can stuff, top load everything in here. We can cinch it tight, and then we flip the top back over and connect these buckles. On these straps, there is this nice little uh, elastic band here that's going to help keep these straps uh, nice and organized uh, as you either extend or lower them depending on how much you need for capacity. Uh, when we open up, besides the big cavernous hole that you can top load into, we do have a top pocket up here, up at the top. It's a mesh pocket that follows the entire uh, um, top of the ruck. And inside there is a nice little addition of a uh, little key ring that you can uh, connect to. Might be cool if that was like a, a red or something that kind of popped when you looked in the bag, but it's right there at the top and is a nice little added piece of functionality. So departing from the clamshell layout, and this being a top loader, my, my, my problem with top loaders is that you inevitably need something at the bottom. And this is where GORUCK, I think, has done something super elegant and uh, resourceful. And let me see if I can get the right side. Yep. So on the right side of the M22, there's this zipper over here that actually opens up and gives you access into the side of the M22. This is really great uh, because if you've got some of the stuff down on the bottom, you can simply open up, reach in, grab what you need, and pull it out. So for me, uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to use this bag, but my family just recently joined a rock climbing gym, and this has been the most amazing climbing bag I've ever owned. Because I can throw my shoes, my chalk bag, my uh, carabiners and all that stuff in here, I can throw in my harness, it's all in there. And no matter what I need, if it's something on the top, I can pop open the top loader, or if it's my shoes or something heavy that's fallen to the bottom, I can just open up the side and reach down and grab it. This side access panel is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Now. If we take a look on the left side of the M22, we're going to see another zipper. Uh, and this is really pretty cool too because we open, we zip this one down. 
will all be. It's got a little snag there. Okay. That might be the first time that's happened. I think it kind of caught on some of the fabric on the inside. True life review right here. Huh. Well, that's something I'm going to have to play around with at another time. But what we have here is a completely separate pocket. So this is actually a pocket unto itself. So I have no access to what's inside the ruck here. This is just its own separate pocket. But it does go the entire width of the ruck. So personally, I haven't had a use for this pocket yet. Um, but certainly, I could imagine something like documents or gloves or something that you want to uh, this is almost like a quick access pocket for larger items. Uh, so could be super useful uh, as you have more stuff. Now, speaking of quick access pockets, that's something that's become very popular in GORUCK bags uh, is the addition of a little quick access pocket, typically up here on the top rear of the bag. This one doesn't have one here, but it does have this super sweet quick access pocket here on the side. You'll notice that the zipper goes almost the entire length of the ruck. And right in here is just this tiny little side pocket. Um, and what's even nicer is we've got this little piece of material here. And what I've found is that this has been the perfect pocket for me to throw my wallet, my cell phone, and my keys. So I go to the climbing gym, I grab my gear out, and I toss those things right there, zip it up, and it is good to go. I have grown to love this little side pocket. While we're on the back side of the ruck here, uh, you'll notice that the backing of the ruck for the M22 is that 210D Cordura. So this is the um, smoother uh, of the Corduras. Uh, it's really great on clothing, it's nice and soft, it's not going to cause pilling or uh, damage your clothes, which sometimes the 500 and 1000D can do. That 210D is also going to be on the interior of the shoulder straps. In true GORUCK style, these are beefy shoulder straps. We've got Bach, uh, Box X stitching here. Uh, bulletproof, bombproof, you can put tons of weight in here and it's going to be uh, it's going to be good to go. The handle on the M22 is a little bit of a departure from the traditional GR1 or GR series handles. Typically those are a little thick and padded and there's there's a little beefiness to them. This it just appears to be a doubled over piece of webbing. So it's a little thinner and flimsy feeling in the hand, not quite as beefy as I'm used to with GORUCK handles, but still the, the stitching and everything on there is excellent. It's going to hold up to any abuse that you put into it. It just feels a little bit different on the hand than a traditional GORUCK handle. On the back side here we do have a laptop compartment, so uh, according to the GORUCK website the laptop compartment should fit most 14 inch laptops and below. So if you've got one in that, it, it might fit. Um, so that is there. Uh, you'll notice that there is a frame sheet when you, when you feel that uh, laptop compartment, there's a frame sheet in here. Uh, on the GORUCK scale of frame sheets, it's, it's a pretty moderate one. It's something that you would get uh, with your uh, GR1 or GR2. Uh, it's, it's got some firmness but some pliability to it as well. So good frame sheet. I like that. And then on this side something that I never ever thought that I would want on one of my GORUCK bags and that is a water bottle holder. All right. People have talked about water bottle holders on GORUCK bags for as long as I've been looking at them. Uh, I've never wanted one. I always thought that it took away from the clean aesthetic of the GORUCK bag, uh, especially the GR series. I've always had no problem just tossing it in. Most of the time when I want water with my GORUCK bags, I'm using a water bladder anyway. But this is the first one where GORUCK has built in a water bottle holder. 
And for the purposes that I'm using this as a gym bag for climbing, I do take a water bottle with me and want access to it. And I've just found this to be super useful. Um, what I also like about this particular water bottle, water bottle pocket is that it's pretty deep. As you can see, my Nalgene is only sticking out just a little bit. So it's not like, oh, hey, look at my giant water bottle. Also, when the water bottle is removed, I feel like that's a pretty clean line. Like it's not noticeable that there's this uh, pocket over here. So I like the, the clean lines on that particular uh, section. The bottom of the ruck, uh, mine is covered in chalk because it's been to the climbing gym. But you'll notice that that webbing kind of follows all the way through terminating at the, the back side of the bottom of the ruck. As I'm looking at the back side, I'm reminded that uh, just like with all of their other laptop bags, there is a false bottom on the M22, which is nice so that when setting your bag down, you're not setting it down directly onto the edge of your laptop. So a little extra protection there. In all, uh, like I said at the beginning of the review, I, I wasn't really interested in this bag. Uh, it was kind of cool that GORUCK was tr doing something a little bit out of the ordinary uh, design and uh, that, that's not like their traditional bags. But I didn't know if I had a use for it. And like I said, it became the perfect bag for me and my family going to the rock climbing gym. So while I, I, I still kind of subscribe to the less is more ethos that, that we see in a lot of Gorok bags, uh, I think they did an excellent job of designing and developing something that, that kind of follows that philosophy uh, and makes everything nice and clean and, and everything really serves a purpose. Um, so that is the M22 at the time of this video. It's going for 195, which I think is a great deal. Unfortunately, it was a limited release, so you're going to have to find it on a third-party website. But hopefully, GORUCK will see the response that people have to this wonderful bag, and, and hopefully we'll see an M33 come out this year. I reached out to GORUCK and did not hear back from them as to whether or not this might be something that they look at in the future. But uh, hey, guys, gals, if y'all are listening, go ruck. Give us an M33. We love it. 23. Whatever. All right, gang. That's it for now. If you've got any questions about the M22, drop them in the comments below and uh, on here or on the website, and we'll uh, do our best to answer all the questions you got. All right.